Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a couple items I picked up. Kind of a small haul type video of different clothing and accessory items. Gothic, metal, darkly inclined, whatever you want to call it. First, I'll start off with the wig that I'm wearing. I wore this in my goth YouTuber imitation video. This was actually what I wore to imitate Zombie Baby. And I didn't get it specifically to do that video. I had seen this wig on somebody and asked them where they got it, and I ended up purchasing it myself off of Amazon. It was really cheap. It was like $11. It's not like the greatest quality, obviously, for 11 bucks. Like, what do you want? I had to cut the bangs. I hate how they, all, all the wigs, the bangs are like so long. They like come down to here. And like, who wears bangs like that? I guess, you know, you could sweep them to the side, but still, they're awfully long. So I cut them quite a bit, and then it can resist heat up to 350 degrees or resist or you can put heat on it up to 350 degrees so I straightened the sides of it because it was curling under like this and I kind of wanted more of a straighter look it's still a little bit curled but not too bad my only complaint with using heated um, like tools on it is I wanted to curl the bangs under and it would not hold a curl whatsoever it just every time I put the curling iron on it and I let it go it was just flat again so I mean I don't think it looks bad but it's not exactly what I was looking for. And I don't know, it looks so much better, I feel like with a headpiece on it or some kind of headband to give it a different kind of like accent because when I just wear it by itself, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't look that great. But like I said, it was $11, so what do you want? I just wanted to try something different. The next two items are from Black Heart Gothic. It was some advertising for a free harness in a free and then they had other free products but you just had to pay for shipping so I was like oh that's kind of cool so I'll check it out so I got this bra harness it's I like it I mean I think it's cool looking it's kind of like a cheapy material it's not like the best material it's almost just like a spandex kind of I don't even know what you call it material but I think it looks cute just to have something pop up from under your shirt like an accent um I don't know I don't think that I would wear it all the way down down just because I don't think I have any shirts that even gold that far down but this is like the deepest v-neck that I could really kind of find and I don't know I think it looks cute with this I'll stand up so you guys can see better so it's just you know spandexy and there's a piece that goes around your waist around here like your upper area here and then um you know the straps here and here and yeah I've never owned a bra harness before I kind of just wanted to get an idea of how it would look on me and I think it looks cute as an accent like I said so that was free and then they had other items on their website that were free the other item I got was a necklace it's a choker and this is it here I think I've worn it in another video but I can't remember It's cute. I mean, it's just plain, like a plain metal material. In the online, when I looked at it, I feel like it looked different. I don't know, for some reason it looked like there was stones here in the middle, but as you can see, they're not. It's just the flat metal going all the way around. But like I said, it was free. So this harness was free, the necklace was free, and you had to pay shipping, it came to $12. So basically you are paying for stuff, because the packages it comes in is so small and shipping really wouldn't have been $12 for that. But regardless, like these two items for 12 bucks, I think that's actually a pretty good deal. The next four items are from Killstar. And I've been leery of buying from Killstar just because I think that it's just been over the top with people doing hauls on Killstar items. And... I'm like, oh no, not another one promoting this clothing company that's really expensive. The only reason why I purchased stuff from that site was because they had a deal going on. It was buy three, that's two, Minette Owl, this is three, <laughs> three clearance items and you get the fourth one for free. So I was like, that's a pretty good deal. So I needed a couple of like updated items in my wardrobe. So I figured, you know, I'll give them... 
I'll look through and see if I see anything cool. And I found a couple items that I actually did like. First, I'm going to show you this shawl that I got. I've never really owned a shawl before. And I was like, you know, what the hell. I'll pick one up. And it's like a knit material, as you can see. And it's one size. It has on the bottom going all the way around this fringe, which I thought was really cool. And then it has a hood. It's a nice heavy material. I feel like it, the quality of it feels really good. I know that's one of the things like different companies, the quality might be kind of crappy, but this thing is made really well. This is hundred percent acrylic, but it feels like like a wool type of material. Like not the itchy wool, but like kind of feels like that. a dress it's this dress here it has like that what do they call those Peter Pan type collars on top or Wednesday Adams type collar it has a cutout here um, on top of the chest and it's sort of a like red and black tie-dye splotchy type look I bought a size large now I usually wear well before I got pregnant, I was wearing a medium to a large. So I figured I'd buy a large because uh, mediums would sometimes be a little bit too tight on me, depending on the brand. And a large sometimes could be a little bit too big, depending on the brand. So I figure I'll buy the large because I know a lot of these companies' sizes run small. And it fits me, but it's a little bit tight, like not like here, but like under here across my rib cage. I think that's what I wanted to say is across my rib cage. It, it's kind of like snug. So hopefully it will stretch out a little bit. It's not too much of a stretchy material, but I'm hoping that it does stretch a little. And the length is kind of short. I'm tall. I'm five foot eight inches. So it is small. So I wear, I would wear like nylons with it or leggings, which I usually do with dresses like this. <laughs> Another dress that I bought it's a same style as that one just kind of I don't even know what you call them they call these maxi dresses I don't know what they're called I don't know the lingo for clothing but I love the design on the front it's a moon and stars and it's no sleeves you know like cutoff sleeves and this one the material I like a lot better because it's really stretchy and this one fit me very well and same thing, I got a size large in this one. So this one fit me better than the other one. And this one's a bit longer too, so that I could just wear it in the summertime and I don't need to wear anything underneath it. And I'm always leery about buying spandexy type pants offline because I feel like the sizes could be anywhere on the spectrum. Usually when I buy leggings, I buy a size large. Like if I just go to the store, I'll buy a size large. And, or sometimes an extra large. And again, I wasn't sure if Killstar's clothing ran small. So I bought an extra large just to be sure because I feel like a lot of these stores do run small. And 
Oh, let me show you the pants first. They're like a velvety type of material and they bell bottom at the bottom. I thought that was so cool because I don't have, I have like nothing really like this. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna try something different. They fit me, but they are snug as hell. And especially in the legs, I really had to pull them up. And I don't have, my thighs aren't that big. So they really were hard getting on over the thighs. And then the stomach, the waist area wasn't too, too bad. But I wouldn't say they were, they're by no means an extra large. Like no, no way. They're probably a, a size medium, I would say. <laughs> The last item I bought was a jacket. I needed a new winter coat because my other one is falling apart. It's just it was just a plain winter coat, black, and it was getting really bad on the collar part my foundation so it would just be like you would just see like white all over the collar and it won't come off I can't get it off I've had it for a couple of years so I was like oh I want something updated a little bit more different looking cooler looking so I went online and I found this company they're called Poison Industries and they had a jacket that I was like, oh, that looks really cool. It's it's not too over the top, but it just has, you know, a couple accents on there that make it a lot cooler looking. And they don't ship to the United States, so I ended up having to purchase it off eBay from somebody else. And I'll just say I'm disappointed. Not in the way that the quality of, not the quality of it or the style of it, but, and it is, a, it is heavy enough to be a winter coat, but it's so weirdly made. And what I mean, what I mean by that is I bought a size large. The sleeves are gigantic. Like they come past my hands here and they're wicked puffy. They have this strap that you can tighten on the sleeve. So I'll show you the sleeve here. You can tighten the strap and then you end up pushing it you can push it up so it stays fitted around your wrist. But it's just so big and bulky in here. It looks odd. And then, but it fits me in the waist. Like, great. But I'll also say it, and then it's very long going down the body. And the pictures did not look like that at all. You're not going to be able to get a good look at it until I put it on. But this is what it looks like. It's got, like, some zippers on it. The front, like, on the front part here, right here for the pockets. It has a big hood with faux fur on it. And the hood is gigantic too. It has a collar, like inside piece here to keep you warm around the, the collar. And I'll just show you the back of it. But I, I don't know guys, you tell me, I'm gonna try it on, you tell me, I think I'm gonna return it. I got it maybe about a week and a half ago. I have 30 days to return it. I haven't worn it yet because I don't wanna wear it if I'm just gonna return it. I mean, it sucks when I'm going to have to pay the shipping back, but I just, I'm going to put it on and on, give me your very honest opinion, what you think of it, because I'm just on the fence of returning it. It's like saying like the hell with it. I'll just keep it and wear it, even though I don't really like it that much or just return it and lose the money on the shipping. me today guys hope you liked this mini haul video let me know if you have purchased any items from Killstar and what your opinions are on them I think that the quality of their clothes are good I just feel like the sizings are off and the price is just 
way over the top. Like I said, so I bought stuff on clearance. Buy three, get one free. Otherwise, I would have never purchased anything from them. And also Poison Industries. They've had, I saw a couple other cool items they had. I never had heard of them before, but let me know if you guys have purchased anything from them. What you think of the coat? Should I return it? And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, stay dark, my friends. And I will talk to you guys later.